Hey everyone, Shinnessen here, your humble host, as always, bringing you another new Let's Play. This time, sticking in our vein of not only fighting games, but Street Fighter games, we're going to be playing Street Fighter Alpha for the Game Boy Color. Now this is, uh, basically continuing my tradition of jumping around, fighting game system to system. You know, I just, here's a Game Boy Color game, I just did Street Fighter 2 for the SNES, I did Mortal Kombat 2 for the original Game Boy, so probably a Game Boy Advance game is next, but it's neither here nor there at the moment. Let's dive right into it. We got basic options, everything's on default, training mode to practice your moves, but let's go get bloodied up in arcade mode. Now one thing I really like about this game is that each character kind of has their own story path, so yeah, if like, you know, if you play as Birdie or Adon, you'll fight the same guys in each order because it's kind of like their own story and each character has their own final boss it's 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 pretty interesting really um i'm gonna be playing a sagat because i love sagat um capcom versus snk2 is pretty much my favorite 2d fighting game and sagat will be very frequently one of the, my three characters on my roster uh, so we're jumping into our first opponent here saddam um, one reason I really like Sagat as a fighter is he's an all-range guy. I got two levels of the tiger shot, a, an upper shot there, and a lower shot. And of course we have, if I can get my controller to cooperate, the tiger knee crush and the tiger uppercut, which has a ridiculous number of hits on it, especially if it goes unguarded completely. I see we got a power meter down at the bottom there. Be using that to fuel special moves and abilities. For example, quarter circle forward is a tiger shot. Let me get some room here. If we go double quarter circle forward and punch, we can do a super one, which he just blocked anyway, but that's not the point. Let's see if we can do better with a souped up knee crush. If I can get in. Alright, that's pretty good. Didn't quite connect right, but did a good amount of damage. What more can you ask for? I was going to try to throw, show off his throw, but Saddam has other ideas. There we go. <laughs> I love Sagat's throw. It's not really even a throw, it's just a grab you and beat the crap out of you. But, yeah, good times. And our first opponent goes down. Winner is me. Now for Birdie. It's been a long time since I played Street Fighter Alpha on the console, PlayStation 1 specifically, but I remember Birdie being a lot more annoying on there than he is in this game. He's, in my couple of run-throughs here, he's yet to really give me a problem. He seems fairly exploitable. And in the corner. I doubt this will finish him off, but it comes close. Yeah, another reason I love Sagat, especially in the Game Boy game where, you know, he only have two buttons, punch and kick, not three levels of each punch and kick. Uh, his, uh, his, his kick is, uh, by default, uh, a two-hit attack, so if you're in close and they don't block, it does a pretty decent amount of damage. It's a good way to combo into a stagger. Hey, good luck with that, birdie. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, just like that. Stagger them, unleash a level 3 combo. I mean, it's 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 good game from that point. Next, <laughs> that manly looking sprite is Chun-Li. Oh, God, those little sprites look awful. Chun-Li will actually probably put up a good fight. In my uh, last playthrough, she came very close to beating me both rounds. And she's doing an excellent job of continuing that. She's a... Uh, a lot more aggressive, and in this game she's more of an all-range character because she has her uh, projectile attack. Unlike the original Street Fighter 2 for SNES, she's got her Kichoken. Is that it? Kichoken? Kikoken? Losing track of all the special names. Yeah, Kikoken. So 
so it's not just her 100 legs kicks and her freaky kick combos you got to worry about. She's actually got projectiles now, which can catch you off guard. As you can still see, I like my jumps and my kicks, especially with Sagat, though. I mean, not much of a choice. He's built as a kicker. He's a Muay Thai fighter, and that's what he likes. That's where his strengths are, so who am I to argue? Oh, okay. I, I caught her with the edge of it. I was going to be like, really? I missed her? That was close. Thankfully, her Super Kikoken's close range, so it's not something you got to worry too much about, unless you're right in her face. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get off a Super Tiger Crush combo. Oh, I didn't even meet. No, no. It's actually the first time I've lost around. Start with a tiger shot. Come on, Chumley, stop blocking. I hate characters that just sit there and block all day. Sometimes it's worth unleashing a super attack even if you know it's not going to connect all the way. Spe oh, okay. I'm kind of thing I kicked her out of it, but all right. Now, especially, uh, like I was saying, even if you know it's not going to connect all the way and do max damage, it's worth it if it's going to knock them out of... Oh, oh yeah, that should connect pretty good. It's worth it if you know you're going to knock them out of a strong attack or something that's a pain to dodge. Ah. Uh. Accidental. Oh, come on. Really? That is the. F of course. You know, I, I, I don't lose a single match until I start recording, right? That's how. That's, of course, that's how it works. Go flawless, beat the entire game without losing a single match, and then get destroyed when I'm actually recording. It sounds, it sounds about my luck. It's mainly Chun-Li's fault. No matter what game I play, she's a pain to me. Not quite as bad as in this game as she was in Street Fighter 2. Well, of course, now she's just completely punking out. I'm a huge fan of the throw mechanics in this game. There's like, there's like, it seems like there's this weird window where they can pick you up even if you're flat on your back or as you're getting up. Like normally you can, it's kind of like an invis invincibility frame where you can at least complete the animation of getting up, but sometimes it's just like, nope, throw you. Seems like can be a little cheap, but what are you going to do? You gotta fight through it, that's what you're gonna do. Oh, hit her. Okay, well, I used up all my hyper bar to knock a little bit of health off, but better than missing completely. So like that, like I don't I don't quite understand the hitboxes, like she clearly hit my tiger shot as she was jumping. Whereas when I do stuff like that against her Kikoken, it still hits me. So I'm... Oh, God. Uh, so I'm not really understanding of some of the hitboxes in the game. Huh. I'm going to be so mad if I lose this match. The little bitch keeps blocking. There we go. God, I hate having to just back into a corner and play defensively. So against my style. Well, gee, originally there was going to be another fight, but Guy will have to wait till next time since chun -Li beat me and made the video longer. Tisk tisk. So anyway, I hope you're liking Street Fighter Alpha. It's uh, definitely a fun game. Um, getting into the, I'll probably get into the Game Boy Advance version later where you can definitely see the evolution of the graphics ability on the... Game Boy system as a comparison, but I'll see you in part two when we take on the next group of guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.